Hello, welcome to the daily political tarot readings here on the Black and Orange channel. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm here 365 days of the year, and some of you are too, which is amazing. Thank you. But uh, even if you're just dropping by, you're always welcome. I take 12 questions out of the chat, and I read uh, 12 questions at 12 o'clock Central Time in the U.S., Chicago time. Hello from Chicago. The questions are down in the description box, and I timestamp them as I go. So uh, you can follow along as I'm reading the questions, or if you're watching this on replay, you can just go down and you can pick and choose what you're interested in, what you're not, and um, just get in and get out. You don't have to watch the whole thing every day. You can just go, oh, I think maybe this, maybe that, a little of that, good to go. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm aiming for. It's not always perfect, but uh, sometimes we jibber jab a little, but I try to keep it to a minimum. Anyway. 10% of the income that comes in the channel that reaches me goes to feedingamerica.org, which supplies food to food banks across the country. That's an ongoing thing. We have epic troll slayers to whom I am forever grateful. Thank you. You make this possible. And I want to thank everybody again for the, the super chats for um, uh, the, the basically all the everything that came in on my birthday. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I am so, so grateful. So, uh, yes. Okay. Anyway, I want to get these things sorted out because our first question today, our first question today, are you ready? There is a possibility that Jim Jordan is going to be drawn out in the new Ohio redistricting. I'm just, I'm standing here and I'm just like, a dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. So that's question number one. That's where we're starting. We got to find out. Jim Jordan going, going, going to lose his district. Is, 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 is Jim Jordan going to lose his district? <laughs> Mimi just said, oh my gosh, my heart just exploded in a good way. I know. Uh, Deb O says he has released a press release saying himself, Lisa Monaco, and Chris Ray are making a significant announcement. Thank you guys. I'm just almost almost as great as the day, almost as great as the day as Michelle Bachman left Congress. That was a good day. That was a good. Jimmy Jim Jordan, are you being going to be redistrict redistricted? <laughs> Is redistricting going to take your job away? All right, I'm calming down the gleefulness. I honestly want to know the truth. Jim Jordan. When is there a significant um, announcement? Any idea? Okay, Four of Swords. There's a card for the reading that could be basically a, a dead district, like that doesn't exist anymore. Because um, swords, swords are voting. So, but hey, so that's the card for the reading. Let's look at the actual cards. 
four of pentacles five of swords oh he is the five of swords he he is he is insult to injury on two feet hello chad nine of cups ace of wands so he has to start something new lack of republicans to vote perhaps his insult to injury he is suspended these are democratic areas organized and this is the start of something new linda johnson says he will move to run again in the new district well that's saying the start of something new Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you. So will he just pick a different district and just go run there and we're stuck right back where we are now? He loves his job. He loves being as obnoxious as he is. He just does. Kathy Anderson says P.O. Box. I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean, my friend. Nine of we are feeling stressed. We have got we have got trauma. Uh, from all these years of of Trump stuff, don't don't try to tell me you feel beaten up. You're the one who's been beating us up. Kathy Anderson used his friend's address. Oh, I'm I'm, I'm missing something. I don't know quite what's going on in in the the chat. I'm sorry. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. Two of Wands, Five of Cups. Oh dear, these are these are the Republicans overall. So it's like, okay, well, you're a Republican. Let's find a Republican district. But this is a burden, and this in this deck, he's not handling this burden well. No. Mm -mm. Uh, it's it's very unwieldy. It's things are about to fall out. It's just it's not great. And in the center, we have ten of swords, and that is not the four of swords, which would be a quote unquote dead district that doesn't exist anymore. This is legal swords in a metaphorical back. Communicating makes me think wonder if he's going to um, become a pundit or get a job with like Fox News, I don't know what, but some kind of communication where he'll, he's going to continue to walk around like a toddler trying to kick down all the cups, all the Democratic cups. But he's got some kind of pain coming. Lady Justice just fell out. And we know that Pelosi did not want Jordan on the committee. And not just because he's a blowhard loudmouth, but because he was going to be one of the witnesses. All right, Joe Jordan. Sorry if the um, I didn't I didn't test the microphone. I I, uh, I hope the microphone I hope I didn't blow out your eardrums when I sang from the microphone. K 
Gary Atkins says political contribute make six figures. I don't know. Diana Cache is saying with all of the pain he has caused, it's karmic time for him to have some of his own question mark. Don't know. Howling at the moon. That is not that that does not fare well for him. This is not the this is not the grief he causes. This is this is grief upon he and the other Trump minions is what that feels like. Yes, please. Uh, seven of cups. Four of cups. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to work with you. Executive privilege. Ten of pentacles. Oh yeah, we do what we want. We don't care about you. Ten of swords. Might not want to take that tack, but sure. And six of swords. Somebody, I don't think it's him, but uh, somebody's going to prison for pushing this. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to cooperate. Uh, people are saying House representatives make six figures. Is that what we're talking about here? So, all right. Nobody, nobody says that the audio blew out their eardrums. So good. Okay. Oh boy. So, is this going to happen sooner or later? Are we talking in the next, I don't know, six months? Are we talking delay, 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 delay? Thank you for being here with me for this. Ten of Cups. Yes. How much would your stress level go down if Jim Jordan was no longer in office? Not saying it would solve all of your problems, but wouldn't your stress level just go down just a little? Oh, he was good. Thank you. King of Swords. Chariot. Somebody wants a word. King of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Emperor. Oh, he's going to be questioned. Okay, so he's going to be questioned by the January 6th committee. There's, there's really not much question about that here. So, thank you guys. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention, I think it's been cut off by now, but... Uh, did they, did YouTube cut this off? No, Lynn. Lynn has a new kitten. I named it Autumn Pumpkin. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh, I saw that. I was just like, oh. That is so sweet. Look at that sweet little face. Look at that sweet little face. Little tufts of hair. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. Okay, I just wanted to share that. And thank you, that's very kind. I don't know if it had anything to do with me, but we'll just go with that. Um, how cute was that? Yes. Okay, so at four, well, 14 in a bit, let's put 14.30 and I forgot to, I was so excited about this, I forgot to put down the time we started. Uh, 14.30, um, how is uh, the January 6th committee? January, I'm just put January 6th committee and Jim Jordan. We'll just have a look at that. Okay, 40. Yeah, it's more like 15. <clears throat> Excuse me. So how's it going to go? Lynn Holiday. Yes, it does. She eats what I'm watching you. Oh, thank you. Thank 
cutie. Yes. All right. It's a shame no one appreciates cuteness or anything. All right. Um, Jim Jordan and the January 6th Select Committee. How's that going to go? If he goes away, that he goes away. January 6th Select Committee and Jim Jordan. How's that going to go? Well, we know what happened, but going forward. Knight of Cups. Okay, they have questions. They definitely want to ask you questions. Nine of Cups. Okay, sitting in front of the committee. Three of Pentacles. Okay, the plan. What's the plan? Six of Cups. The committee were very much working together, which causes huge frustration for people like Jim Jordan because there's nobody there for him to play off to have someone up there agreeing with his ignorance, extremism, ploy for, for attention and distraction. Seven of Pentacles, Fruits of Labor. They, they, he's up to it in his, he's up to his knees in the whole January 6th stuff. And they have the information. But he's playing games and the, um, when they start calling fellow Congress people in, the, the fellow Congress people are going to start <clears throat> trying to use all kind of rules and, and what have you. I mean, it happened when Jeff, when Jeff Sessions, when they were in, in the Senate, when they were trying to confirm Jeff Sessions for attorney general, every time the, the Democrats would come out and say, this man has done this, this, and this, and which is disgraceful or whatever, the other side would say, we're striking that down. You are in, you are breaking the rules of the Senate in bad mouthing your fellow senators. That isn't how this works. This is a confirmation hearing. But they just used all this procedural stuff. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if the same kind of thing happens in the House and or when senators are called over to this select committee in the House. Jim Jordan and the select committee. He's just he's just he's just looking for a way. He's he's, he's just like he wants to he wants to like wrestle these people to the ground. He just he has this energy and he wants to fight and argue and it's just like we have questions did this happen this is a travesty are you not answering the question yeah, you're obviously not answering the questions somebody's hemmed in are the people on the committee constrained by how much they can do or is this jim jordan is constrained by maybe somebody going to prison and it, executive privilege not being an option we're going to be asking about that, about the judge who I believe they're waiting for on the Bannon issue. Ace of, Ace of Wands, Page of Cups, Magician, Three of Wands, and Empress. Okay, this, this feels like being very much involved 
somehow being more involved than even some of the people who um, stormed the building. And then Jordan having to face America with all of this exposed. I'm not sure people on the right are going to listen. They may just ignore this. They may just be like, I don't want to hear that. So they just turn it all off. Pegasus says his testimony would be fruitful. Well, or hopefully he would uh, pay dearly for it not being fruitful. So. Oh, boy. All right, of course, the right on the right, they have their plan. Delay, deflect, deny. But that committee, man, they are not playing. Not playing. But we're going to come up against them. We're going to be all belligerent and awful. Fine. Then this is law enforcement who would love to have a word with you. All right. I think the next thing we should look at is this judge. Okay, put this here at 22. Judge Tanya Chutkin. Judge Tanya Chutkin. Because um, in Trump trying to keep the, uh, in Trump trying to keep documents away from the January 6th committee, he's trying to invoke executive privilege. Well, that went up in front of Judge Tanya Chutkin, who said last Thursday she would rule expeditiously on the matter of Trump and what he wants to keep from the committee. So how is that going? How is she doing? Because that, that bit of law on executive privilege um, could be used against Bannon if it goes against Trump. Because she's the one who said, how are White House visitor logs protected under executive privilege? Yeah. All right, Judge Chutkin, Tanya Chutkin. How are you doing? She's a judge. <laughs> um, I could be wrong. It doesn't feel like much phases her. I don't know if she's she's seen it all, but there's that kind of energy about her. Diana Cache is saying, my humble opinion, you are correct. DOJ is waiting for her to rule on this before putting Bannon in front of a grand jury. Judge Tanya Chutkin. And executive privilege. I got two cards in the middle. This is complicated. This, this ruling, there's something complicated about this. Chariot. All right. She's she's not sitting around doing nothing like, oh, I will get to that eventually. It's important. She's she is working on it. But this is very important uh, law. Six of swords. Nine of pentacles. This has to do with a a someone who leaves office. They had all of these, this electoral win, they had this power, but they left office and now they're a citizen. Probably rich and spoiled, but sure. All right, center of the card reading, I got two cards. I got the world and I got the um, eight of wands. All right, let's see what the next two cards are. Sword of truth. 
Ace of Swords and Ten of Cups. Ex she's not going to give him executive privilege. It would be too broad. What he's asking for, well, he, the judge did agree that what the January 6th committee was asking for was very broad. What Trump is asking for to be protected is extremely broad and would allow um, allow a lot of malfeasance to go unpunished. You are you are a public servant when you are president. This is the end of this nonsense. Truth comes out. That's what I'm getting. Fingers crossed. DLC says the judge's opinion needs to be written carefully so that no one can find fault and overturn her. Yes. Uh, will this will this be appealed and go on and on and on? At 20, 26.30? Appeals go on and on and on. Okay. Okay, let's go on and on and on. About Trump and executive privilege. Thank you, Deborah. Executive privilege. Is it just going to be appealed and appealed and del <clears throat> delayed and delayed and delayed? And because of the astrology, I could be wrong because it's the because really what the astrology is, is is what's what what are the currents like we're in we're in this energetic ocean and um, we're not on the surface of it we're in it and uh, the astrology tells you which way the currents are going and how strongly they are moving and do you need to you know find a, a something to put your back up against to I, I was I, I kind of explain it as we're all in our own um, personal diving bells or, or little diving vehicles, one person diving vehicles. We're way down here. And, uh, you know, do we need to, like, find a, a place to put the back up against the, like a rock because there's going to be a really strong current and like keep everybody safe and get some others near you? That's what astrology is good for. Well, September 19th, we've got that full moon partial lunar eclipse. And that's also the day that Trump's protection by Jupiter goes poof. So things could happen before then, but I'm actually not expecting anything for the next 11 days. Nothing major, but it doesn't mean it can't happen. It's just the currents are more likely in that direction then. So far right on the defensive as they should be. He really does not want that information out there. I've got a nine of swords. I've got a queen of cups. I've got a two of wands, 10 of wands. Oh, that's a lot of information. And that's Trump the man. It's mine, 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 mine. He really does not want this getting out. But I'm not getting a card of secrets. I'm not. This would be this would be massive, like important case law. This would be major arcana, and I'm not getting major arcana. Trump the man, exactly, exactly, Michael Grant. Michael Grant says, Jove says, bye, Donnie. Two 
Two of Swords, legal decision. There's the sun. There's Trump the man. And there is the King of Swords. Uh, it's I'm not getting like a flat out letter rip, you know, but I'm I'm getting it, it, it's going to probably be more nuanced than that. But I'm definitely getting a the people looking for information are going to get a lot of information and a whole lot of stuff is going to come to light because he's just a man. We're Americans. We don't have kings. We don't have emperors. It's a democracy. Chew on that. That's what I have to say about that. Okay. 31. All right. This is, this is just terrifying. Um, okay. So basically COVID deaths are becoming partisan in a big way. In October, where it, today is uh, November 8th, 2021, in October of 2021, last month, if you start breaking down, and, and yes, you take, uh, you, you know, the, the Republican average voter tends to skew higher than, than Democratic, and they, they've taken all these factors and, and did all the, you know, the, the mathy stuff. And um, they found that out of every 100,000 US residents, almost eight Democrats died. 7.8 deaths per 100,000 US residents. That's awful. That is the amount of grief involved in that and pain. We, we used to have 330 million. It's obviously going down from there. Hello, Becca from House of Lenormand, you wonderful woman. Um, do, do follow House of Lenormand, she is awesome. But anyway, very, I mean, it's terrifying. <clears throat> Things are getting better, but 7.8 deaths for 100,000 in this country for Democrats. Do you know what it is for Republicans per 100,000? 25. It's more than three times the number of deaths. If you're a Republican than if you're a Democrat. And how you're killing, we've been saying for a long time, you're killing your own voters. You're killing people. But I mean, for heaven's sakes, even just in the most selfish, self-centered way, let's appeal to your self-centeredness. You're killing your own voters. So, is this, is this uh, hastening or bringing down the Republican Party? If you were a Democrat, the death rate in the U.S. in October was about 7.8%. Death. So almost eight deaths per 100,000 people. And if you were a Republican, living in a Republican dominant place, the deaths were more like 25 deaths per 100,000. Three times as much. And that just doesn't just happen once. We have hundreds of millions of people in this country. So that's 25 and another 25 and another 20 and here and here and here and 25, 25, 25, 25, 25 deaths as opposed to eight, 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 25, 25, 25, 25, 25. 
<laughs> and Beck is being so positive in the chat. Hope everyone's doing well today. Hi, everybody. It's like, oh, jeez. Yeah. I don't blame you for staying out of this energy. Yeah, when it comes to voting, the Republicans have things to worry about. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups with a very protective hand on the cup. Protecting voters. Protecting the people. Protecting people. Five of Pentacles. Yes. Sickness. Republicans. Sick. Democrats. Protecting people. Magicians in the center. There's the Empress card for America. And here is the Queen of Swords. This is probably relating to the mass mandates Biden's trying to get out there. I alone can fix it. Nobody's going to tell me to wear a mask. Like Alan West the other day. Actually, when, a, when they were at, I think it was in an airport or something, a man actually came up to him and asked him to please put on a mask. And it, not only did um, Alan West say no, he reached up and he flicked the other guy's mask off. Oh yeah, you're, you're a big, strong, yeah. And this is America. This is so sad. This is so, so sad. I don't understand it. Wheezy squeeze box. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Mostly unvaccinated, the cost of buying into their propaganda. Kathy Anderson says that's a stall. Yes, it is. <sighs> Hippie Sue saying, hi, all. I just read Trump is leaving the Republican Party and starting his own party. I hadn't heard that. <sighs> So, anything else here? You really want the economy working? Yeah, maybe don't kill people off. Just a thought. Chariot. Six of pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Oh, we have to get people working. Yeah, they're, they're not changing. They, no, numbers don't mean anything to them. They're not changing their tune. They're not. No, I'm getting none of that. Man. Oh, boy. All right. But Okay. 39. Lynn had a question. Will mental health ever be treated like cancer or a cold with no stigma attached? Gosh, I hope so. Gosh, I hope so. I don't think there should be any stigma. I'm very, and I'm very, you, you regular viewers, you know, I'm very open with the, the, the issues I've had. Totally, you know. And I've learned to recognize when the depression hits so badly and it's like, okay, I understand. I, I, I recognize that. Okay, now what do I do? I'll do this, 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 this. Yeah. So, yes, I agree, Teresa Ford. That would be wonderful. Honestly, is saying that's a good question. Yeah. 
it just it's just something the same way your liver might start acting up it's it's, it's your brain acting up yeah. um actually just why does it feel like three cards it feels like three cards all right i'll pull three cards i would have thought five but no i'm getting three justice um it looks like maybe some protection from discrimination Judgment, page of wands, yes, ace of cups. Of course, there's still going to be some yahoos out there who are ignorant. It's not going to, you know, it's not like everybody's going to, to you know, lose all of their ignorance but boy is that an improvement judgment in the ace of cups that is a massive positive shift i like it with justice as the card for the reading oh yeah and then this little pipsqueak page of the far right over here go away go sit down this is improvement i like it let's do that Jean Dorsey says, amen, sister. Yep. Okay, guys. There seems to be there seems to be some talk in the chat. So let's just let's just go there. At 42. 42. Um, will Trump start his own party and what should it be called? What do you think? Will Trump start his own party and what should it be called? Kathy Anderson is suggesting orange Kool-Aid. This rat says the party of poopers. Holly in France is suggesting grift party. Teresa Ford is suggesting Trumplicans. Desert Dawn is the party of demented grifters. There we go. Debo is party in the jail cell. Pegasus says, who call it the truth party? <clears throat> Pegasus says, GQP. Teresa Ford is suggesting cult, for cult 45. Trump starting his own party. Michael Grant, the, the precious party. Diana Cache, yes, saying he will start a new party sounds like a great way to raise money. Yes. Yes. See, him starting a new party sounds like sounds like work. Really, it sounds like that would be just way too much work for him. Rebecca Davis says, how about Trump Lidites? Holly and Francis, he'll name it after himself. He loves to see his name on things. Yes. Gary Atkins is suggesting party of numb. Oh, B. Smith, the know nothings. There was a, for those outside of the U.S., there was a, the know nothing party back in the 1800s. It's so an interesting, fascinating thing, but that's what they called themselves, the know nothing party. I don't know. Uh, Teresa Ford is suggesting, oh, okay, I see. All right. Senor Cabra says the Neo Confederate Party. Ooh. Lies, 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 yeah. Yeah. Whew. Knight of Cups, Five of Pentacles, 
seven of pentacles it's to raise money if he brings this up it's about the money three of wands and the star he's throwing everything you can think of at the wall in reality democrats are closing in like the january 6th committee select committee his own voters are sick passing away treated horribly uh let's try let's send this idea out there let's see if it'll make me a star and it'll make me some money right in the middle uh honestly says wing nuts Teresa Ford said dumb and dumbers Diana Cachet says the worst party Yes, Jean Dorsey, that was the Thompson Twins. Yes, it was. Pegasus is the Narcissist Party. already taken wasn't it wasn't it national socialist party wasn't wasn't that the name of it something like that yeah i think there's already been a, a trump kind of party pretty sure sip sue saying the only trump can fix it party chicky is suggesting i only want your money party now that would be the truth uh, Teresa Ford also suggests the Tiny Hands Club. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, pretty sure it was National Socialist Party. Yeah. 47 in a bit. So, I don't know if this is, there's some things I read on that I don't even know if it's really worth reading on, but darn it, I just want to, I just want to talk about it. So the question is going to be a simple, will Trump and McConnell make up? But the reason I'm reading on this, on December 15th of last year, the electoral college votes all came in. Mitch McConnell picked up the phone. He called Biden, congratulated him on his win. Called Trump. Trump started railing, you're a traitor, blah, 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 blah. Mitch McConnell said, you lost the election and hung up on him. So, so are, 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 are these little, are these two little lovebirds going to make up? Hey. Okay. Fool, you fool. True. Back at House of Lenormand, is the honeymoon over? Yes. So sad. Magician. Nine of Swords. Chariot. Eight of Pentacles. But you won't remember Mitch did not vote to impeach Trump. Nope. Eight of Wands. No, this is Mitch. It's like, I'm over here working. Whatever happened at the January 6th thing, whatever happened with Trump, whatever's going on with all of that, I'm just working. I'm just, I'm over here. I don't know her. 
I don't I don't know her. Trump's dumb ideas. The grief January 6th ca um, caused the the sheer volume of legal stuff coming down on Trump. McConnell's just, I don't know her. So. No more friendship bracelets. Made of stolen hair of children. Yuck. Yes, Diane, Diana Cache, Mitch had his chance to rid himself of this nuisance and he chose wrong. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, what's next? Uh, 51. 51. Uh, let's see. I, okay, so Kristen uh, had a headline, headline, thank you, Kristen. Thank you for all you do. You really help the channel. Thank you. You really help all of us uh, keep up to date with what's going on. Uh, so an accused Capitol rioter slips the FBI and claims asylum in Belarus. Will the Capitol rioter rioter, will the capital rioter Evan Newman find continued asylum in Eastern Europe or will he be sent home? Evan Newman himself asylum in Belarus. And any of you who have not heard the rumors about Jim Jordan, who came in late, do go back to the beginning of this live stream. Anyway. It's actually like 50. To 45. Evan Newman in Belarus. Where are you? He feels like he's running for his life. He's also, I don't know, there's a fine line when you've slipped the FBI, slipped out of the control of the FBI and you've run to another country. Are you paranoid if you're afraid they're gonna come get you? Is that paranoia? because he's got a lot of that. <sighs> Six of Cups. I'm guessing he has family there. He grew up there. Wait, why Belarus? Because it feels like a very different, it feels like a very different everything different system different way of doing things different from his perspective i mean like if i go overseas i know i'm blessed in that i have i've been overseas not everybody gets that chance and um i'm grateful so i know if i go overseas there are going to be differences it's going to be you know and i know over time uh some of the things you get used to especially like i find what going to the uk um, there's so much there that you can just take for granted. It's like, oh, it's it's similar. Other than driving on the other side of the road, yeah. It's, other than that, you know, it's pretty much the same thing. And then you go to the grocery store, and you have trouble finding peanut butter. <laughs> it's like, and it's just all these other things that crop up, and just more and more, where it's like you are in a foreign country, you are in a foreign country, you are in a foreign country, but and. 
I even got sick of it, not sick of it, but like I was homesick is really the word I'm looking for. Um, after living overseas for about two and a half years, um, I was just homesick. It, it doesn't feel like this is a person who um, is going to handle that very well. Desert Don says he went to Ukraine first, but he said he was being followed by intelligence agents. Okay. All right. Sure. Nine of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Emperor. He's just begging for help from other Republicans. Yeah. Um, begging, begging, begging. He's He's got... How do I say this? It's like, uh, what it feels like is delusions of grandeur. Like, the deep state. The, the, you know, in another decade, a different decade, it would have been like the Illuminati or somebody, that, but they're out to get me. They're going to kill me. They're going to, they don't want justice. They want to, because I have stood up to this. It's like, slow your roll and sit down. Wait a second. Does Rat say, why are we missing baking soda? Are we, are you having, uh, I just find it's baking soda is actually, it comes from the ground and um, there are um, deposits of it in the world. And pretty much the biggest one in the world is out West in the U S by coincidence. Boy, oh day. Can we, we should not, we should never, we should not run out of baking soda for whew, a long time. There was this fantastic book, uh, back in the day, it was about someone took the idea of the Twinkie and took all the ingredients and each chapter is devoted to finding the source of where the things come from and really interesting things about each of the ingredients. And then the lore of, it was a great book, but part of it was about baking soda. And baking powder is baking soda plus a, a, a powdered acid, which would make it help it to rise, help things to rise. Otherwise you'd be being soda and then, you know, recipes you'd put in like a tablespoon of vinegar. It's the acid to help the baking soda make things rise. Anyway, but if we're running low, that's, that would be quite the, um, quite a thing. Well, being in houses, I wonder how Snowden is doing in Russia. I I heard he had a kid. I don't I don't know. Electric Storms is baking soda is plentiful on the shelves at the stores I go to. Leslie, Twinkie lore, you are so fun. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Far right victory. Oh my gosh. Dude, chill. Well, the Twinkies actually, I know the joke about they last forever. They only last about four months, actually, is what it said. Ooh. Nine of Pentacles. They must save me. The far right, the real Americans must save me because you are in your own world of your head. And... Okay. Um, yes, Linda McMurtry, baking powder and cream of tartar, which is the, the acid. Yeah. I was just afraid if I said cream of tartar, it just confuses things. And people are like, cream of what? Tartar? Like your teeth? What are you talking about? No, it's different. Uh, yeast was hard to, to get uh, about a year ago when things first shut down, but yep. 
Which reminds me, this month, I'm hopefully making Pavitica, the Croatian um, nut roll that I grew up on. Oh my gosh, that stuff is so good. So good. But anyway, I got some vegan uh, sour cream so I can make it. It's part of what you put in the dough. You can't taste it really, but it's part of what's in the dough anyway. Okay. Um, someone says to me about peanut butter, uh, but about 20 years ago in the UK. And when I'd go, it, it, I, you know, I was staying out in Surrey. I mean, it wasn't middle of nowhere. It was in Surrey. And I went to the grocery store and there was still like one brand of peanut butter. And it wasn't good. And it was like, really? That's it. So, anyway. Um, no, Pamela Bryan, if you fly to another country and you ask for asylum, you don't forfeit your American citizenship. No, it's, it's more complicated than that. But if you're asking for asylum, you can, I mean, if I was, if I was overseas and you know, suddenly there was, I don't know, a bombing or, or something. And I happened to be nearby and they were like, you did it. And I'm like, what? And so I go running to the nearest, there's an embassy right there from a country. I could, you know, go up to them and say, I, I'm requesting asylum because I didn't do this. And I just, I need to contact the American embassy. they would probably help depending on who they were. So, and it wouldn't affect the fact that I'm an American citizen. So that's my understanding. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. All right. 102. Where are we? Do, 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 do. 102. Janelle had a question. One, oh, two. Washington Post um, is reporting today that Yunkin, that guy who just won the governorship in Virginia, gave $23 million to a nonprofit foundation that he and his wife started and run out of their home. Is there something illegal or just flat out hinky going on here. Oh, the best peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I hate to say it. Black currant jam. Yum. And I know I'll start, I'll start chaos in the chat by saying, I may, may lose subscribers by saying, chunky, chunky peanut butter. Natural chunky peanut butter. I know, I know. I can hear, I can hear the wails of disagreement. Okay. Yunkin. Oh, and White Dragon, uh, you asked, is the Chinese government telling the people to stock up on food? Uh, why is this of any concern? I read on this the other day. Um, so... It, it, if you go to the main page of the channel and just do a search, it should it should come come right up. So, um, yeah, smooth. <laughs> yep, a lot of smooth peanut butter people. Brand uh, Apple is asking. Um, I just get the um, I I because of where I live, um, I end up getting um, a fair amount of Whole Foods stuff. So I actually like Whole Foods natural that you have to stir when you open it up. Um, chunky peanut butter. 
blackcurrant jam, whole wheat bread, oh, manna from heaven. A lot of the other, the, the regular brands, like your GIFs and your Peter Pans and all of that, a lot of them add molasses. I don't get it, but that's just me. Okay. And Desiret says, I've lost about 25 pounds myself. Good for you. And and you you throw that in right in the middle of us talking about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yunkin. Ugh. All right. 106 Yunkin. $23 million, huh? 20, 23 million. So, Yunkin, the $23 million that you gave to a nonprofit that you and your wife started out of your own homes. Anything a little hinky here? It's a lot of money. Yunkin. All right, there's judgment. It's quite often election day, but it can also be other kinds of judgment. Uh, Kathy Anderson's having a peanut butter sandwich for lunch. Cool. Joanne says Sterling said something would come out about Yunkin. Okay. Okay, Moon. Oh, he looks mean. Um, this is the page of one, so it's a, the messenger, but it can also be far right messenger. Boy, look at the expression on his face. He looks mean. Grr. Yikes. Four of wands. Emperor. Oh, somebody thinks they can do anything they want because they have money. And throwing stuff out, seeing what comes back. I think this is some, um, it's not estate planning in the sense of like after he dies. This is wealth planning. Hmm. Hmm. Like the storm says, well, Virginia wanted a businessman and they got it. So, all right, well, Yunkin, is something nefarious going to come out about you? This or something else? Yunkin. He's just so happy right now. He's just so happy. Talk about a honeymoon phase. He's just, I did it. I. You know, I'm all that. The world. The world is my oyster. The world, yeah, well, oysters have grit in them. That's how you get the pearls. That's how the pearls are made. And it's an ugly, uncomfortable business. Nine of Wands. Queen of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Oh, he thinks he's going to make so much money. Two of Cups. Four of... Four of Swords. Well, there's, there's a pile of money in the center of this. But th these are not cards of imminent um, imminent justice. 
But there is a pile, big pile of money. Yeah, we've got to wait. We've got to wait. Duncan. Uh, Artemis is saying about natural peanut butter. One of the folks at Trader Joe's told me to turn the jar upside down and store it that way before opening it. It'll mix on its own. This actually works. Oh yeah, I'm I'm um, constantly turning it over and leave it. And then as I go past the shelves, I these little shelves in the basement where I keep extra stuff and I'll turn it around or I'll put it on its side for a while or I'll shake it and then put it down. I'm always doing stuff like that. I still have to mix it when I open it, but it's definitely better. Yeah. Yunkin, far right on the defensive. He's going to distance himself, not just from Trump, but from any, any, he thinks he's better than He's one of those people, I've made all this money, therefore I am better than you. I am chosen by God, and I am all of I am walking talent and greatness because I made money. Right. That's how this works. Moon. Four of Pentacles lovers. I think there's there's going to be trouble eventually, but it, this this feels this feels significant, but it feels way off. It's like it's like way over there in the future. It's like there's something down there, but we'll get there eventually. That's all I've got. So you know, like you do. So Oh boy. Electrostorm is saying this is why business people have no business running any government, period. They only care about money. Yeah. All right. Um, there is someone who came in. I won't call you out, but some there's somebody who came in uh, earlier today and was actually let me let me put this in here at one one twelve thirty. I'm going to take the name out, make sure that's not in there. Okay. So someone left a, someone left a question or a comment and said, I know some see a blue wave in 2022, 2022, but I see something else. Okay. Fair enough. Red wins. Okay. It's usually the consensus among readers um, that is most likely what's going to happen. But okay, yeah, you're, you know, put your voice in. If this is what you're feeling strongly, uh, you're, you're, you're really feeling like this is your intuition, um, you know, put your information out there. Red winds, Great Depression, bloody civil war, been seeing it since Donnie came down the gold stairs in 2015. I have never picked up anything like that. No. Bloody Civil War, no. Great Depression, no. Will we have economic downturns? Eventually, guaranteed, eventually. It's the nature of the beast. It's the nature of economic cycles and calamities. Plus, we are recovering from a pandemic. Um, so, I... I'll read, I'll, I'll throw some cards on this and I'll keep an open mind, but I don't see things going that horrendously. Um, and I'm not 100% correct. You know, I, I'm not correct every time I read. Um, but so let's see, are we, is that go over headed? Uh, Great Depression and the bloody Civil War. Yes, Deva. Trump had to pay his adoring crowd. Yes. And that would be the right winning. The wrong winning. Page of Cups, Lovers, 
beautiful. Seven of Pentacles, High Priestess. These are not cards of a Great Depression. These are not cards of a bloody civil war. These aren't a card of civil war. This is the divide. There is a divide between the Democrats and the, the Trump cult members, but that's what we've got right now. Uh, the fool in the center, yeah, that's Trump. He's not in power right now. Seven of Pentacles, Fruits of Labor. Right-wing Republican. Higher Wisdom uh, could just be secrets. Let me see if, I, I don't know, maybe there's something there in the secrets I need to pick up on. But this is not... This is not the energy. I always worry when I pull cards on stuff like this. It's like, oh, you know, gosh, I hope I don't get, you know, the really, really horrible cards altogether. Um, but if that's what is in the energy, then that's what I need to to share. And but I'm not getting any of that. Yes, disrupt. Wars need money. You know Trump's not going to spend his own propaganda. Stir up trouble. Scare people. Ask that by all. Thanks. Happy Povitsa. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not going to make it today, but soon. This month. Ace of Pentacles. Insult to injury. Thief. They, already, they, they tried January 6th. They tried for an insurrection, didn't work. This is all minor arcana. This is just not. No one in danger or in doubt, run in circle, scream and shout. Yeah, yeah sit down, you're fine. <laughs> I was saying everything's gonna be, you know, bowls of cherries, but I'm just, I'm not getting that kind of calamity. So I want to make sure that I share that with you. I've never, I've never picked up on that kind of calamity. Um, and yeah, that's, um, that's that. That's going to do it for me for today. But thank you so much for being here. I so enjoy spending time with you guys. You have no idea. And I'm grateful to you. So it is 1.29 here in Chicago. And I will be back tomorrow because I'm here 365 days a year to take your 12 questions at 12 noon Chicago time. Uh, at 4 p.m. Chicago time, I will be over at Book Art Media to do creative sprints. And um, other than that, just keep on keeping on. There are good days ahead. I promise there are good days ahead. There really are. Okay, so hang in there. And I will see you tomorrow.